Hi, I'm Dominic Miller. Um, welcome to my little chat here. Yeah, that tune is Shape of My Heart. Uh, it's a tune that I wrote with Sting a few years ago. Actually, I've seen that on YouTube so many times with people trying to explain how it's played, and I've never actually intentionally done an instructional version of it myself, so I thought, I'd, for the record, I'd show you the correct fingering and, uh, and the notes, because there's always one little mistake in every version that I've seen. But I'm, I'm very chuffed that people want to uh, teach that song to guitarists, but uh, there you go, that's that tune. So yeah, I'm here on tour, I'm currently in Norway, touring with Sting, as I usually do. I've been touring with him for 28 years, and uh, this is another busy one. So we're going around Scandinavia and Europe, and I find myself in hotel rooms a lot of the time, and I've got my guitar here. This is actually a small Taurus model Yairi, uh, which is great for traveling, because I can fit it in planes, for the most part without too much hassle, but you know, it's getting harder traveling with guitars these days. But I managed to get this one around okay. Um, I've had a few dramas here and there, but it's, it's okay. I, I've got it with me today. So what I do in my hotel room a lot of the time is I practice and I compose, because I've got a lot of time to myself before shows and sound checks. Um, one of the things that I like to practice to start off is a, a little chromatic uh, scale that I've kind of made up for myself, which is in fifths, which is great for, to get the left hand moving. That's really good for just getting the blood flowing in the left hand and just getting, I call that kind of like finger yoga or chromatic yoga is the name of that scale. And um, I, do, I might do that for a few minutes. And then the other thing I like to do is uh, practice Bach. And the reason why I do that is because when I was learning the guitar and with the few different teachers I had, they recommended doing scales and arpeggios. And I kind of rebelled against that. I didn't really like doing it. In fact, I was probably quite lazy or something. So. The solution for me was to play Bach because Bach is full of scales, except that it's scales with personality and some and beauty, really. So uh, I might do something like this. Etc. So that I will do that probably for an hour, and that really it's great for um, concentrating, getting the fingers moving, and uh, really just concentrating on the sound. For me, playing the guitar, the sound is king. If I can't get a good sound, then I can't really go forward. And so when I practice that, uh, for instance, that tune, I might do it really hyper slow, just so I can focus on the sound on and every note being as important as the one before and the one after. So it's just like really being in the moment. And so practicing it is more like this. Etc. It's very difficult to um, to do that actually. Playing slowly is, is one of the hardest things to do on, on any instrument, I think, and to do it precisely and to do it in a pure fashion. So that's really my philosophy with uh, practice and uh, preparation. So if I do that for a few hours a day, doing a, a show with Sting is actually a lot easier than, than it could be if I didn't do it. The other thing I like to do is I like to write tunes and compose because I make albums every so often. I've got a new album out now. Um, 
It's called Silent Light. It's on ECM, and I'm I'm very happy with it. But I'm getting ready to make another one, so I've got time to compose and to to come up with something. And uh, you know, I've got a few riffs here and there that I'm working on. I'm not going to play them for you now, but uh, I'd love the the whole process of composing. And for for me, composing is fun because it's it's really like solving a, a problem. Because really, the way it starts is you get a little bit of luck. Um, or just a little uh, riff might just fall on my fingers, or just just the combination between two chords. Usually, it's then I think, wow, that's something, and I've, I've got to work on that and solve it. It's like solving a puzzle or a, or a labyrinth, getting out of the labyrinth, and um, that's for me the, the way it begins. Like for instance, a, a tune like Eclipse from First Touch. I was just messing around with. Um, with like a, a G5 chord. And then by accident, uh, I played this E flat on top. So I've got. I've immediately got something that's worth working on and worth solving. But that initial uh, two chord relationship was was really a, a bit of luck I didn't it just happened but it's my responsibility as a composer as a writer and as a guitarist and I've got all this free time is, is to do something with it and uh, take it to its conclusion and that can take a long time you know it, it but I want to make it sound like it, it's just all the chords fell on each other so that's my sort of approach to writing music is to first of all recognize when you have a good idea, which is not that easy because you might be just playing and something might have passed by and if, if there was someone else in the room, they'd go, what's that? And uh, so you've got to know when you've had these little moments of luck and then what you need to do is seize the moment and, and, and work on it. And that can take either a day or it can take a month. And uh, on the Silent Light album, some of them were written very quickly, like in less than a day, and others took a month to write. But for me, the journey of writing a piece of music, there's nothing more satisfying. And it's, I love getting myself into trouble or something, you know, like going off on different keys and uh, tempos, but somehow trying to close the circle. And to close the circle, you've got to find your way back to the original key. And that's, that's what music uh, theory is, is all about too. It's it's got a hold together, almost like a like a. That's why I really identify with architects, because a really great architect knows a lot about engineering. So if I were to design a building that sort of went like that, or like a Frank Lloyd Wright building that sort of is at some kind of angle, there's no way you could design that or actually build it without knowing something about engineering. And composing music is no different, really. So I need to. Uh, allow the the piece of music to hold together to stand up and you know have uh, some strength and power and for it to last and for it to last you know that's another thing you know the best way to approach that is to try not to to write something that's kind of current or fashionable because the thing about fashion is that it goes out of fashion very quickly too you know, a, a substandard way of composing is to just have, let's say, this idea and just keep repeating it with a groove and with production values. Um, but that's like, that's not very satisfying to me. That's not my way of doing it. I like to, to go around the houses and go on a journey and, um, and make a, a real piece of music. And sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Um, but anyway, it's been fun talking to you, um, even though I'm here on my own talking to my iPhone. But, you know, I hope you get something out of this and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.